The third Grand Slam of the season is upon us as the Tennis Circus makes its way to the All England Tennis Lawns for the prestigious Wimbledon tournament. Roger Federer is searching for his eighth title, currently ranked number two in the world, which could make him the most successful player in the history of the tournament. While Serena Williams chases down Grand Slam title 21, can you believe it? Which would put her one behind Steffi Graf, uh, Graf as the greatest woman singles player of the Open era. Um, now joining us to chat a little bit more, Roxanne Clark. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us this morning. Me. Thank you. Um, very exciting time. Wimbledon is probably the most interesting of our Grand Slam tournaments. There's something that, about the history, about the culture around it. Um, this is the one that, while the fans want to watch, it seems to be the one that the players want to win. It's the one that the players enjoy being at, and obviously they really want to win. It's the most prestigious tournament there is, absolutely. Um, so that prestige, of course, for some, um, really comes with uh, gravitas this year. 21 Grand Slam titles. Do you think Serena Williams is out and out? Who can challenge her at this stage? I think, you know, when it comes to the women's draw, it's Serena and everyone else. Yeah. Serena sort of um, chasing history. I think she actually is probably the best player there is. The best in history, if you ask me. But obviously the title having, um, chasing Steffi Graf winning 22 would be would be put a, sort of put the cherry on the cake there. And, and I think she showed during the, the French Open that she can change game plans. She seemed to be very uncomfortable throughout that entire tournament, niggling injuries, but the mind is so strong. And as she herself said, her dad's given her quite an arsenal of weapons to, to draw from. So um, I think we, we have to say that this is probably going to be her shot. She's the toughest competitor there is. I mean, if you even listen to interviews from the other players, they say, well, this is Serena's um, chance to win four slams in a row. So... Unfortunately, Novak Djokovic has lost out on the opportunity to get his career Grand Slam, but that certainly doesn't take anything away from his potential in this tournament. We have to say he's out and out man's favourite. He's definitely the favourite to win. Um, he's still the best in the field. He's lost only three matches this year. So, yeah. I mean, he took some time off. Yeah, exactly. Some pretty, pretty important matches, though, they well, were. While the rest yeah. of the field was playing, were playing warm-up tournaments, he took some time off, spent some time with his family, which he's done in the past, so he's, he's feeling good. He's in action today, playing at Wimbledon today. Yeah, I think all the top seeds in Got action. Got a tough, tough today, first yeah. round match, but um, should get through that. Stanislas Wawrinka obviously um, had a dream um, French Open, did Absolutely. so incredibly well. But on, on the flip side of that, surely the fatigue, what it took to get in there, that might impact his tournament? Not necessarily. I think that um, the letdown after winning such a big event is probably uh, the biggest yeah. challenge. Um, but he's very confident and he feels confident that he's the only guy who can beat Djokovic and they possibly could meet in the semi-finals if they both get that far. And of course, um, Kevin Anderson has shown his credentials, um, losing out in the big opener to Wimbledon. That serve is looking immense, that kind of pace you want on the grass course. He's looking good. He had a good run at Queens, which is the warm-up tournament for Wimbledon. Um, he's got a big serve, big game, big forehand, so he's in with a shot. You could get Djokovic in the quarterfinals, I think, if he does oh, well. Oh, man. Well, it's, I think it's, it's fourth round. The <laughs> you, you want that, but you don't want that. Yeah, you, know? you want him to come up and maybe come up with something big and, and get through it. Yeah. Now, when we look at the, the emotional vote, the, the one that we really want to see perform, the world number two, Roger Federer, I, is he um, overdone? Has he, has he passed his sell-by date, do you think? This could be Roger's last shot. I know um, a lot of Federer fans think he still, thinks he still has it in him, and, and I hope I'm a Federer fan, and I hope he does it too, personally. And, and then, then there's the one no one's talking about, Rafael Nadal, who's oh, no. just not on form <laughs> at all. So hopefully he can also put up some sort of competition and make he the draw shine. interesting. Well, I think all of the top seeds are going to shine one way or another. It's going to be a fantastic Grand Slam. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you so much uh, for Tennis star me. Roxanne Clark. I think we're going to chat to you a little bit over the, the coming weeks. But enjoy it. Soak up all of that, that Thank unbelievable you so much. tennis. It's going to be fun. It is going to be fun indeed. Gives you an opportunity to sit glued to your screens. Well, if you're looking for a little bit of an inspiration on this Monday morning, it is about to come your way, Alana.